for Somerville's 175th anniversary, we are collecting people's memories of the city. What's your favorite memory of the city of Somerville? My uh, favorite memory is really just growing up as a kid here in the, in the Ville, but really on Prospect Hill. Yeah. And um, I just remember growing up, uh, not as diverse as the city is now, but really a neighborhood of kids who were just immigrated or family has just recently immigrated to the community and mostly in that neighborhood. Uh, Italian, Portuguese, mostly from San Miguel and the Azor, uh, Ireland and Greece. And it was just a strong social fabric, a lot of what you're seeing here today. Yeah. So th that's my, my favorite memory. What's your name? My name is Daniela. So my name is Tim. My name is Anthony Soto, a.k.a. DJ Soto, a.k.a. Rico Papi Flaco. I'm Josh. My name is Laura Patone. Uh, my name is Jonathan Argueta. I attended the Prescott School, and it was um, located up here off of Myrtle Street. And when I was in third grade, the East Somerville Community School was, was built. And I can remember taking out my tub and walking down Pearl Street, walking into the school for the very first time, and it was absolutely beautiful school. Uh, I'm going to say eight, year, um, eight years ago, that we had a fire um, which destroyed our school. We had it rebuilt, brand new school, and I walked my grandson and to East Somerville Community School is a brand new school. So I always think that the circle of life is really, really crazy here in Somerville. Daniela, what uh, neighborhood or city square do you live in? I live Union Square um, between Market Basket and Highland Kitchen. Ten Hills. I'm near Gilman Square. I live on Gilman Street right next to Leathers Park. I actually live on this street back yeah. here behind <laughs> the bus. Yeah. So I'm over in Ward 4, uh, near, uh, over in Winter Hill. It's just this silly thing that happened today that really reminds me of the city. I was uh, on Facebook and I'm looking at the freebie list mm -hmm. and there was a, a listing for a mattress and we were looking for a mattress set and this one wasn't very used and I said, all right, I'll come and get it. And I find out the street and it turns out they live near friends and so we go to their house and I didn't, I, I called my friend because I actually didn't have a way to get it yeah. there. Because I was like, how am I going to bring a mattress home? You know, these are the things you think about later. And so I called my friend. I was like, oh, what are you doing? He's like, I'll come and help you. I'm like, great. He's like, oh, yeah, and I have a pickup truck. So then this friend comes over, brings his pickup truck. We go over to this person's house. We, they can't figure out how to get the mattress out because it's one of those funky little basement staircase. Then they realize they can go through the back, but they have to go in the tenant's apartment and the tenants are sleeping. So we're trying to be really quiet. <laughs> And the gentleman's young son comes out and he's chatting with me, he's about four. And he, he looks at me, he's like, I really want to pump up this ball. And the dad says, we can't find the pin to the pump. And I said, well, hold on a second. And I open my purse, stick my hand and I pull out a pump pin. I said, here you go. And boy, this boy, he looked at me like I was Santa Claus. So we put it on and we pumped it up together. We finally figured out how to get the mattress out and then they're trying to figure out how to get the box spring out. They end up throwing it over the railing of the, of the double floor so the top stairs they go from the porch down drag it down we catch it and that's just an example of the world of Somerville can you it's tell like us how everybody is all like interweaved and connected in a strange way can you tell us why you had a pin in your uh, you know a bed? pump pin is one of those things that you lose right you have no idea where it is and so at one point I found it in my house just sitting on a counter no idea why it was there and I said I cannot leave it here and so I just stuck it in my purse so anyway, it's just, like I said, a story of strangeness. When did you or your family move to Somerville? I moved to Somerville four years ago. I'm new to Somerville. Okay. We just moved here about a year ago. Uh-huh. Um, about 17 years ago. Uh, about 15 years. Nice. I came from El Salvador uh, when I was three years old. Uh, just past two years, May 1st was my two-year anniversary living in Somerville. I moved here from New York. Um, last summer. I was, um, I had done a, uh, an event where, for which I had a bunch of cash and I needed to take it to the bank, but I hadn't brought it to the bank yet. And I had it in my separate wallet where I had my cash. And I was walking over to Broadway and I knew I'd be passing Leone's, which only takes cash. And it's the best pizza in town, I think. <laughs> and so I wanted to get a slice, so I went over there and I had my cash wallet with me. Got a slice of pizza, got some other stuff over there. When I got home, I couldn't find my cash wallet and it was extra cash but it was still cash that I was counting on having so I went out and retraced my steps back and it was at night time it was hot in the summer retraced my steps there retraced my steps back and coming through the neighborhood in between Broadway and Pearl Street over there 
I walked past a house on the other side of the street where there were maybe a dozen guys sitting out front. I don't know them. Um, their English wasn't their first language. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly where they were from. I've guessed Spanish in some way. And I figured they might have been, they were sitting out there before. So I went over and said, like, hey, guys, did you, did you see a wallet over here? Did you see someone drop something? And like, they sort of translated to each other uh -huh. what I was asking. And I, I speak a very little bit of Spanish. I didn't want to, like, attempt it because it's embarrassing. <laughs> and so they, you, you could, I could see the concern kind of ripple through. Like, oh, no, this guy lost some money. And so they kind of, like, again, conferred with each other. Like, any see anything? And I was like, okay, well, if you see something. And this dude stands up and walks over to me. And he's like, I kind of recognize the word for help. Yeah. Like, he, he wants to help. And I'm like, it's, it's okay. It's probably gone. And, you know, thank you. Dude reaches into his back pocket, pulls out his own wallet, and tries to hand me cash. He, like, from his perspective, like, he didn't realize that this was, like, like my extra pizza money. Right. right. Right? And, dude, I don't know, who honestly standing in front of me right now, we don't even have a language in common, is reaching into his back pocket to hand me cash. And so, I, I mean, I couldn't, I didn't have the words to express that, like, it's not, it's my extra money. Yep. Right? But mm -hmm. it was just, like... Wow, that's that's where I live right now. Yes. All they all these guys knew is some dude lost some money. <laughs> Let's get the dude some money. That's fantastic. That, that was like that wasn't quite. I I want to <laughs> say that was worth losing the money. Nah, I'd still rather have the money, but that was almost worth it. Fantastic. So, what would you tell somebody who who has no idea what Somerville is about? What what is the nature of the city? It's really uh, the nature, the DNA, our soul is uh, as our diversity, uh, our people, our multicultural strength. That's who we are. Somerville is the best city in Massachusetts. Um, they have great people, amazing places, amazing attractions. Um, there there won't be anyone that will, is not willing to help you. You say, hey man, can you try to find this? Help me find this. Someone's gonna help you out always. Fantastic. We are a melting pot of diversity, and it's beautiful. Every single corner. And when I first moved to Somerville, I was like, a, I was freaking out because it was so different from New York. And I, my, my first work weekend I was here that year, it was Porch Fest. I went out. I became friends with some strangers that day. They ended up being some of my best friends ever. And uh, Somerville has really welcomed me. I was planning on going to law school, finishing, going back to New York, and I definitely see myself here. And where's your favorite place to eat? Um, my favorite place is Fasica here on Broadway. Uh, definitely Maya Soul. Yeah. The burritos are you know, awesome. <laughs> There's, um, have you guys heard of Tenoch? No. Right around Davis Square. Yeah. Also a Mexican place. Amazing. Tenoch. Yeah. All right. Listen, if I want to eat uh, seafood, I, I'm uh, at Out of the Blue in Davis Square. Mm -hmm. When I want to eat old-time Sicilian food, I go down to Vinny's. Uh, uh, you know, when I uh, you want to have something a little bit more funky, uh, a little freaky, as we call it, Somerville, uh, you name a place in Somerville, whether it's in Union uh, uh, and, 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 or around the city or, or down here at Assembly, but there's so much flavor and diversity in cuisine. I think it really reflects the creativity and the originality of the city that if I'm out of some of our eating, it's for a very good reason, usually because I'm out of state. All right. <laughs>